Are you one person who's looking for 101 ways to have an extra income? 101 ways to have a side hustle? 101 ways to expand your financial portfolio? Or maybe 101 ways to help your clients who's having financial struggles? Then this video is for you. For today's toolkit, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly that 101 ways to make money, to create money, and to have an opportunity to grow your financial portfolio this year. So consider subscribing to this video and to this channel because I am still going through on a runway of 100 Life Coaching Toolkit Mastery Challenge in 100 days. What does it mean? It means that Every single day for the next 100 days, well, actually, this is my 11th day, I am challenging myself to show up and share with you one toolkit of the day. So today's featured toolkit, as I said earlier, as I get started, is all about 101 ways to make money, to create income. Now, if you are joining me for the first time, if you are encountering this channel for the first time i am do doing this 100 days challenge for myself to show up with toolkit for my tribe 100 days to challenge every person in my tribe every coaching professional in my space to show up and use master and help others with the toolkits that i am sharing and i'm also challenging you in case you are not yet a coaching professional to use the toolkit for yourself Consider subscribing because the toolkit that you are getting here will be available for a limited time only. So it will be best for you to be able to get notified whenever a new video and a new toolkit becomes available. Don't forget, snag the free toolkit now because this is available for you for free for a limited time only. Day 11. Welcome to day 11 of our 100 days live coaching toolkit mastery challenge here at my YouTube channel. So if you are meeting me for the first time, I am Master Coach A. I am a coaching professional. I'm a coaching entrepreneur. And since 2017, I've been helping individuals in terms of training, coaching, and building tribe so that they can grow and prosper and thrive in the second fastest growing industry in the world. So I've been around for quite some time here in YouTube, but I am using my channel, this YouTube channel, just as a repository of the materials and content that I am creating in the other social media platform. And then recently, I got this realization that I am living a low-hanging fruit in this channel. And so I want to make it up with YouTube. And so I am committing myself to show up and serve in this space, create value specifically for this space for 100 days straight. Not 100 weeks, not 100 months, but 100 days. So I am encouraging all of you to stay tuned to journey with me because whatever I am learning in the space, whatever I'm learning here in YouTube, there's a lot, by the way, I am also be teaching this to, to my tribe, to the people who's watching. I'd like you to take a look at what's happening right now. This is my day 11 and you can check on my statistic. You can check on my videos. You can see on the progress from day one to day 11. Okay. So, Everything here is done in-house. So we don't have a VA. We don't have somebody outside in there doing it. Everything that you are seeing is within our tribe. So if you are one person who will be interested and you're thinking, can I do what you're doing, Master Coach A? Can I also jump in and start my video in YouTube or start being a content creator in YouTube? Well... This is my day 11, so far so good, and this is my day 11, and so far I am enjoying it. So, hop in, let's get started for today's toolkit. The holidays, the Christmas season, 
or should we say the happiest year the happiest time of the year is up next but oftentimes the happiest season and the happiest time of the year also pose a challenge not only financially but also mentally to many because there we go again with all the expenditures up next coming up to every one of us now this is the third year of the global pandemic and i'm sure not a single person on planet earth would say i am not affected even the big guys the big names in the industry are suffering um experiencing downtime downturn in their business and you me we're not exempted. We are all going through some tough times in our business, some tough times in the work that we do. Some of us have encountered early retirement. Some of us have been misplaced at work. And some of us are just still going through the motion of grieving because we've lost someone in COVID. Now, with everything happening, life goes on, life continues. And I'd like to give you not just hope but practical ways not just to recover but to make life sustainable specifically in areas of your finances if you are new to my space i am also the founder and the creator and the chairman of the cup coffee republic this is our coaching hub and we are located at pioneer center compound along pioneer road corner brixton's and united streets capitolio Pasig city and why i'm sh sharing this with you is because as as i'm doing this challenge in youtube i am also doing my 20 weeks um marathon or 20 weeks runway of teaching the science of getting rich now i want to dive deeper on the issues concern and limitations about money because money is a tool and it's unfortunate that many professionals coaching entrepreneurs or startup businesses are struggling to grow their business to scale their business because of money now in a toolkit that i'm going to be sharing with you there are 101 ways to make an extra income to start a business or dive into something by the way one of the things that i'm diving deeper right now is what we call the dd or the digital download so uh, that is something that i am devoting my time so if you are also one person who is interested in diving into digital downloads and if you have been in digital downloads for quite some time and you're not you know getting the the ball the ball rolling in that area of your finances or that business then get in touch with me let's have a conversation because i have a lot of things going in that area in that spectrum now going back 101 ways and i would say you could even have a thousand and one ways but why is it we always go back to the cycle of luck and scarcity now a lot of people would say it's mindset a lot of people would say your skills a lot of people would you know some guru will tell you the space that you occupy um the match of the market the need of the market and all of these things all right got it and that's absolutely true and that's absolutely valid but for today's toolkit and for today's conversations i want to dive like super deep into your network Okay, network and when i talk about network uh with due respect i don't mean about network marketing i don't mean about uh those people you meet in the networking events and you network and you um exchange credit cards and uh sorry calling cards okay you know why i said credit cards because it means you know a lot of people would exchange that cards and they feel that that cards that credit card or calling card means credit card or like they can you know connect with these people and swipe their credit card or that get their number and eventually that's it business continue that's not how it works now i want to dive on that networking side because oftentimes we meet a lot of people in a huge event and we exchange cards we exchange some people would give out their box because that's the new way of you know building their authority sometimes they give some videos of um, usb and you know boost their credibility and all of those things now those are all 
perfectly fine. But I want you to take a look at that, like, closer on what kind of network events are you attending and who are the people in the networking events are you meeting and what kind of activities or what kind of connections do you look to accomplish after the networking event? So those are three simple things. Possibly you've heard of it, but this is big. And these things, when you learn to understand and dissect, will increase your financial capacity or portfolio this year. Okay, number one. Who are the people in the networking events? Oftentimes, we or many people would want to go to a space where there are the big names, okay? The, the who's of the who, okay? So the famous, the celebrity, and they're hoping that if these people give them a glance or they share a table, they share a conversation, then that's it. They're hitting it. There's nothing wrong with that, but I want you to take a closer look with this, okay? With this idea that if only you get their attention, then things can go big with you. Well, it can be on some occasion, but think about this for a moment. If you are going to a networking event and you're focused on the big names, the who's of the who, okay? So those people who are made already and they have like a lot of things in their portfolio and you're getting in there, networking with them. Yeah, sure. You probably get some photos. You probably get some um, connection, some introductions. But if you are starting, it can be very challenging. What I recommend and I want you to consider is this. When you attend a networking event or an opportunity, um, a gathering, an invitation where you have an opportunity to meet people, I want you to look closer if there are people sharing your passion, sharing your dreams, or sharing the things that you want to do in a particular industry. Like, people don't even have to be super big people don't have to be super 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 uh known in the industry or in the space where you want to occupy or you, you want to grow people that would help you especially if you're starting are people who have the same vision as yours people who will care about what you care about people who will help you grow because as you grow they will also grow. People who speaks your who speaks your language and understand that knowledge that you have and will appreciate the wisdom that you are bringing in the table. So that's the kind of pe person. That's the kind of people you want to look into. Next, okay. I want you to take a look at like the event itself. Like, what's going to happen in the event? Will you be spending time over, like, listening to introductions, to business advertisement, to what they can do, and all of these things, versus you having an opportunity to share what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, Sometimes we are so focused and we're like centered around the big names and what the big names have to offer. What I want you to look into is in that particular space, in that particular gathering or networking event, what is the activity, what is the opportunity for you to show up with value? What is the opportunity for you to display and show them what you've got? Not just your products, not just your services, but you as a person. What do you get? So you could be like, you know, a coaching practitioner, a coaching professional, um, an entrepreneur. But definitely there is more to you than just the title, than the credential. 
there's more to you. Okay? So what's that thing that the networking event or invitation can offer to you, to your dreams, to your passion, to your products, to your services? And you know what? It doesn't even have to be a big one as long as you will get that opportunity. Third, what's going to be the opportunity or the activity right after? So imagine going to an event and you've got all these machines. And what's your product got to do with these machines? What your product got to do with these big names? What your product or services got to do with these um, owners or the people going there? Or the people whom you exchange calling cards and contact info? What would be the opportunity or what would be like the tangible point of engagement and moving forward for both of you. Sometimes we miss the fact that it's not about the number of calling cards or the number of contact numbers that you got, but it's the number of people who is interested to look into what you got to offer. In networking events, we get to meet people who can be our best bet for joint venture. Now, when you talk about joint venture, you're talking about an upstream and a low stream. An upstream are the people who can give you recommendations or endorsement, and the low stream are the people or the companies that you will give endorsements. And so my tip for you is this. Whenever you attend a networking event, Whenever you are invited to a gathering, look for people that can receive from you. People who will receive from you. Companies who will receive from you. Organization whom you can bless. So they are your low stream. And then you look for people, you look for organizations, you look for partnerships. Okay. That would be your upstream, and these are the ones who would give endorsements, give clients, and recommendations to you. Go upstream and low stream, and it will be a success. Simply put it, when you get to the space, look to be a blessing. Look for the opportunity to serve. Look for that chance to give value that value will be given back to you just like in anything else so don't forget download the toolkit for today 101 ways to earn 101 ways to make money 101 ways to grow your income portfolio and if you want to grow your business if you need help in social covers then i am also the owner of rise up creatives with just five minutes investment every single day we can help you grow your business grow your authority and for you to rise up and be creative and expanding your business this is master coach a and i'll see you again tomorrow for day 12.